What is up and what is down, all you lovely children of God, I'm your big boy Aaron J. To see, I'm back in the house with another brand new video. And today we're going to do something a little bit different uh, because we're going to do a react video and we're going to react something that. Oh, sorry about that. Plaster, sorry about that. And we're going to. Sorry. There we go. And we're going to react to something a little bit more different, a little bit more interesting. We're going to react something that relates to my country, Malaysia. Now, some of you may not know what's going on in Malaysia, but it's okay. I'm not going to go into details. You can read the news. You can read a bunch of videos online. But the point is that this video actually caught my attention um, online and um, it was only uploaded two days ago. So this is something that everybody should know. It is something that actually is happening in Malaysia right now. And a lot of people should really um, pay attention to it. But before we even go into this video, we just want to give you guys a little bit of heads up. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys for supporting on my channel and thank you guys for leaving a like, share, favoriting and subscribing. And we're going to react to this video. It's called um, Video Show Smugglers Beating Rohingya Refugees on Boat During Failed Attempt to Flee Bangladesh. Now, Malaysia has a problem with this and they are basically accepting them into this country be just because they're actually um, of their belief. So without further ado, let's just go and react to this video and let's talk about it later on. And before we even go to this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support. Smash that subscribe button and smash that like button as well. Do share this video so that plenty of people can understand what's going on and plenty of people can understand what's the situation. And without further ado, let's just do it, alright? Let's just, let me get my video set up. Alright guys, video shows smugglers beating Rohingya refugees attempting to flee Bangladesh in three... Two, one, and wow, disturbing images. My goodness, they're trying to reach Malaysia from Bangladesh. See, this is the problem we're facing it. 19 year old Enamuel Hassan, six weeks. How, what do they eat? Oh my goodness, dozens of others have died. It, the hunt, the, the hunt, more the guy has on Tarar Tuliore, but the Morigona side and Muri, goodness, near side, and Morigona side, and Morigal Dudil, and Dodiore, Tajamad. What? They throw the body into the sea? Ara Sadnik had Dumara Hadiore, Uda Valley, Udi Motor Mogul, Mokaladi, the money, Motor Mogul, Lamure, Bell, Michigan or Bell, I said the Bell, Lamure. Oh, oh, ripping off ears, breaking hands, oh my goodness, what's wrong with these guys? Oh, what? oh my goodness. We kill them unless they drop us on land, so that it's a death sentence actually. Oh, finally, the story shines through this. Myanmar Muslims minority group of illegal immigrants that denies them citizenship. Well, it is true, they don't allow them to come to the country because they don't want them. Sorry to say. The Myanmarese army launched a deadly crackdown on them. What? More than 700,000 fled? Oh my goodness! 700,000! That's a lot of people, man! Living on the overcrowded refugee camps, many see Malaysia as their final destination. Oh man. Oh my goodness. It is true also. Malaysia is becoming a country of smugglers. Escaping the Bangladeshi camp starts. What? It takes $2,000 in Malaysia? It's 8,000 ringgit. Oh, what? You have to bribe the cops as well? What kind of crap is this? This is not justice. Small boats will then take them to a larger vessel. 
1,000 people. One boat fills 1,000 people. Look at these guys. Look at them walking on the beach shores. Abusing the law. $10,000,000? Really? I will only come to Malaysia by air. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, is nightmare. Look at them, these are 1,000 people here. And there's no guarantee for refugees that they will land in Malaysia. There's no guarantee that they will survive. Oh my goodness, about 400 have landed in Indonesia and being at sea for months. Wow! They were being forced to drink their own urine to stay alive? Oh my goodness, this is abuse! Humanitarian groups say it's a hard tackle, human trafficking. It is a hard tackle because you don't really know. Ah, this guy is Malaysian, he's speaking Bahasa Malaysia. Layer-layer uh, smuggler ini sebetulnya uh, dimulai dari Malaysia kalau kita mau, mau lihat karena kebanyakan dari mereka uh, maunya ke Malaysia dan yeah they tend to go to Malaysia they want to because they know they'll get citizenship in this country U.S. reports in 2019 accused Bangladesh in insufficient anti-trafficking -tra efforts look at them they just drop them off here and they walk from the shore. They have rescued 70,000. My goodness. Look at them. Suffering. South China Morning Post. Yep. That's them right here. <sighs> this is torture. Okay, guys. What you just saw, that was basically an example of what is happening in this country um it actually happened months ago even during the um during the lockdown on covid 19 in this country there were some refugees uh, rohingyas refugees that came to malaysia as well and you know they, they were caught unfortunately they were caught they wanted to seek refuge in malaysia but unfortunately they were caught so this is something that's actually currently happening and a lot of people don't really understand is that they're actually Bangladeshis but they are like kind of like refugees they're like staying there in refugee camps and when they come to this country they get citizenship so Malaysia is basically an open door for all races it's kind of like how America opens doors to every race every group every ethnics so Malaysia is becoming like like an open door for everything if you want if you want to seek salvation just come to Malaysia but you have to be a certain kind of religion to get a citizenship. If you're um, a certain religion, you will get a citizenship. So that's basically what's happening right now in this in this country. And a lot, not a lot of people they understand this because they think that oh, they, these these guys are not welcome here. They're not supposed to be here. They're this and that and this and that. But we don't understand is that these guys are actually fighting for their lives. They're fending for themselves especially. Not to mention this is kind of like a modern day slavery. This is exactly why a lot of people, they, they this is something that's actually bothering us in this country. I'm not going to talk more about it. I mean, you guys have seen the video. I'll leave the link to this video down in the, in the description below so you guys can understand what's going on. I'll leave some links to why they are being tortured and all these things and so you guys can understand what's going on. So. It's very sad to see that Rohingyas are actually being mistreated, are actually being bullied, are actually being, you know, killed and, you know, for this kind of reasons. But honestly, guys, um, I just want you guys to pray for these people, you know, that pray that the Lord himself will, will, will shine through their lives and, they, and the Lord himself will actually, um, you know, bless them abundantly. Not to mention that we need people to go and help them, you know, talk to them, you know. Um, outreach to them so that you know they can actually have a better life um, even wherever they are maybe they could be in Malaysia right now or maybe they could be back in their home um, we just want to pray for them you know wholeheartedly and lovingly because we want to see them you know you know come to the right place and then just you know being accepted as part of as human beings and as part of the community so we pray that the, that the Lord himself will will, men, will will just be with them and comfort them and you know you know just make their lives better you know let's just pray for them and let's just hope that you know the lord will really bless these people and you know his face will shine upon them everywhere that they go so thank you guys so much for support you know that's it for, for me today leave a like share if you subscribe comment on the video 
helps me to improve myself and do subscribe to my channel you know um, I try my best to do as much as I can with my videos and my channel and um, with this month of December being pretty busy so ministry is getting a bit more overwhelming and um, yeah it is I, I try my best but if I do make another video it's probably gonna take a little bit of time because of the amount of work I'm doing and the amount of duties I'm starting to take over and I'm starting to take leadership in certain areas but without further ado I'd like to thank you guys so much and see you all guys in the next reacting video when I have the chance to do it okay Take care, God bless, bye-bye.